Hey guys, what's up? And today it's me, Mr. Lame Talking Head. I'm just kidding. Today we're doing Food Challenge Part 2. Hope you're having a nice day. And let's get started. First, say hello to Parker. Let's get started. Let's get started? Alright. Awesome. So. We'll start with the savouries today and then go to the sweets. So first up, we have a product of the Philippines called Boy Bawang Cornic. Okay. Which I'm not pronouncing correctly, I'm sure, but whatever, that's fine. I'm not Filipino, so you wouldn't expect it. Right. Looks like this. It's a savoury snack. It's barbecue flavour. Oh, no, I wouldn't like it. It smells a little bit peanut butter. Does it? And it, it tastes like spicy chips. Do you like spicy chips? No, I don't. It tastes. It, I can smell the spice. I do not like that. Ew. I like it. You like it, Henry? Parker, not so keen. <laughs> it's awesome, I know. You guys, <coughs> if you haven't tried this, try them. I promise. So you, you would recommend some boy barbecue and cornic? Yeah, because I, I like Do the next one. What's the next one? It does say on the, the bag, bigger, tastier, crunchier. Are they bigger, tastier and crunchier? We well, don't know if they're bigger because you've never had any others. Are they tasty and crunchy? Mm. Oh, that's good. Cool. They contain fried corn, vegetable oil, sugar, salt, yeast extract, Monosodium glutamate. Oh, good bit of MSG. Spices and a natural smoke flavour. And there you go. Really? That's what's in them. Right. One down. Now, I've never tried boy bowing corn myself. But I have tried these ones and they are a favourite of mine. These are oh, no, Spicy broad beans. <gasps> Dang it! Yeah. I know I won't like them. They are a dried broad bean or fava bean. Okay. Coated with spicy coating. I'm only having a little one. I'm not having this one. No, that's too big. They don't really have What's much. It smell like? They don't really have much smell to it. Okay, well, maybe one. This one looks it. like a cornflake. It does. It tastes like cornflake. It doesn't have very much spice. It's very crunchy. Okay, when you when you, after the aftertaste it's spicy, my tongue's burning. <laughs> Is it? Do you want drink of water? Finished it. God, that tastes like a hot chili. Contains 1% chili. Oh, Jesus! I like these better. I you like you prefer the the, the Barwang Cornic? I, I like them both the same, but this both disgusting. Oh. Okay, well, it's everyone likes a bit of chocolate, don't they? Yes. But I hope it's not cold chocolate. Go check. This one, I shall oh, just do the pack, is ginger. dark chocolate coated ginger. A favourite of mine. It smells like chocolate on the outside, but you can't, you can smell a little bit. No, can I smell You can smell chocolate and ginger mixed together. Um, okay, let's go. 
Mm. That tastes like a hot chili again. It does taste a little bit hot. No, I and the, okay. this looks so weird. You've eaten the whole thing, haven't it? So it's good then? Spicy. Spicy? Like ginger. ginger. Ginger does have a little bit of heat to it. I burnt my tongue again. So no, I definitely like everything the same. Which was hotter? The spicy broad bean or the ginger chocolate? That one was hotter? Oh, well, you're pretty They're tough. They're both the same hot. <coughs> Bit like that then. <laughs> right. You toughed that one out then, Henry. Nice work. Well, we're on to our last one. And I think it's quite appropriate because it's often the last thing that you would get in your restaurant, maybe, if you went out to some Chinese. Last or first? Last, normally. It is the good old fortune cookie. The old Kung Fu Sing. <laughs> I can see it's the king. I can see the king. Right. Yeah, the Go. One of these each now. Pick them up. Don't eat them yet. Don't eat them. Because you've got to be careful because there's a piece of paper in it. That's right. So Sticky. when you take a bite, make sure you don't eat the piece of paper. The piece of paper's got a special message on it. It's called Fortune. And it's supposed to tell you about what's going to happen to you in the future. Man. There you go. Doesn't smell like much? No. No. Nah. Are we going to have a bite? Yeah, have a bite. If you like, you can break them open to get the paper out. That might be the best way to do it. Mmm. It's very hard. Is it? Yeah, break it or bite it open, which is easier. What's it taste like? I don't know. You don't know what it tastes like? No. Oh my god. I'm going to go down. Room it. It will slip away if you devote all your attention to work. Romance will slip away if you devote all of your attention to work. What does that mean? That means that you won't uh, do well with the girls. The girls won't want to kiss you if you're too busy working. That's, Dad, what? that's what it means. What does this say? Do you think that sounds good? Would you would you rather be kissing the girls or doing work? Doing work. Dad. What does yours say, Parker? Don't know. You don't know? It says an overcrowded chicken farm produces fewer eggs. What does that mean? It means if you've got too many chickens, they don't have as many eggs as if you've got slightly fewer chickens. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I think it's it's a message to tell you not to overdo things. Sometimes if you try too hard and be too greedy, you actually don't get as much out of it in the end. Ooh, like that. Ooh, if that I think said, that's anyway. said that, I'm just going to do this. You going to do that? You're going to tear it up. Well, it's silly, yeah, isn't it? Because we don't have chickens, do we? No. No. I'm, how, right. Why would I get chickens if I was a YouTuber? Why would I get chickens? You're good if you want to. Interesting logic. This right. is, these can't so, be true. Well, what did you think of the fortune cookies then? I didn't like really? They didn't taste like anything. I didn't and they just have a note in them. Whoops. Right, time to do our ratings. Right, oh. So, out of five, what would you give the dark chocolate coated ginger? I gave that one a. 
a one. Mm -hmm. And what would you give the spicy broadbent? Zero. What did you give the chocolate, Parker? A zero. Okay. What did you give the spicy broadbent, Henry? What do you um, think? Um, I gave them a three. A three? And the Bar Wang Cornic barbecue flavour? Um, I gave that a solid four. A solid four, righto. And last up, the Al Fortune cookie, which you're still eating. What would you give that? Four and a half. Four and a half. Oh, okay. It's getting close. Well, I didn't Perfect. Say anything. What about you, Parker? What did you give the boy Bar Wang Cornic? Zero. And the fortune cookie? Zero. Zero. Is that the wrong with zero? Well, glad we asked you then. I think we could guess guessed anyway. That's the first bit of the video. Hey! We'll give you a big explosion while you sign in.